In this video, we will see how to write the parabolas in their standard forms. First, let us write the standard form of a parabola and then understand the equation. y is equal to a into x minus h, the whole squared plus k. This is the standard form. Here, why do we need the standard form is we can easily get the h and k, that is the vertex values, h and k can be easily found out. Now, this actually needs to be done by the completing the square method. But since this is in the MCQ part, I will tell you a shortcut. But you need to know all the four options first. So let us just look into the answers of these. Here you have plenty of different options, right? So the first thing is, take your calculators. If this is the given question, this equation should be equivalent to this. So if I choose any x value for this particular equation, I must get the same value over here as well for y. Now, I will do it over here. Let's, let's type this out as it is in the calculator. It's by 2 alpha x squared minus 24 x and lastly we have plus 40. Now it's up to you to choose any x value. I'll just choose 1.5 and we got 17 by 2 or 8.5. Now remember that x value. The same must be applied in the all the four options. So what you need to do is now just press on. And now 2 times x minus 6 the whole square minus 32. And now calculate at the same x value that is 1.5 and we will get the same answer. All the other options will give you different because if it's same then that's the correct answer itself. Now one more thing. Your answer must match this equation. Can you see this ax minus h the whole square plus k. You can see x must have no coefficient the coefficient will be outside the bracket so 2 into x minus 6 the whole square minus 32 now from here you can easily tell which is the uh, which is the vertex minus 6 and this one you need to change the sign for the h value that is the x value of the vertex if it is minus 6 it will be plus 6 but this one as it is minus 32 is the y value of vertex the axis of symmetry is whatever the x value of the vertex that is 6 and it opens upwards why because this is a quadratic equation which is having positive sign means it opens upwards that's how easily you can solve all the questions but what about th this one the last one we have no uh, equation over here because you know the constant term is over there first we need to write it in a proper equation as I can see the square is towards y so what, what I need to understand is this is either opening the right side or left side. And how do I rewrite this? I'll just write x is equal to minus 3y squared minus 12y plus 18. Now you can easily check. Over here, instead of x, we have y squared. That's fine. Put this as it is in the calculator. Solve for any x by, for, for this variable value. Write the answer and match it with all your options. Now, in case you have this, you don't have this equation given, only the vertex and it tells you the axis of symmetry. What do you do then? Then it's fine. You must just remember this formula minus b by 2a. This is the vertex x value of vertex, x value of vertex. Now here minus b is minus 24 times minus sign because already there is minus and this is also minus 24 divided by 2 times 2 the answer over here will be 4 uh, 24 by uh, 4 is 6 yeah and this minus and minus becomes plus so we have 6 now you can see the axis of symmetry is 6 and the x value of vertex is 6 if you want to find this just substitute 6 over here and solve it up it will be 6 minus 6 is 0 it's minus 32 over here but this question is about finding standard forms, so they have to give you the standard form in the options. And over here, it's the same thing, it's just that the orientation is different. Now, one thing, if it is y is equal to x square and so on, if it is plus, it opens upwards, minus, it opens downwards. But what if it is x is equal to uh, y square and so on? So if it is plus, it opens to the right. If it's minus, it opens to the left. That's the only thing. And uh, here the axis of symmetry is the y. It's not x value. See, over here the axis of symmetry, what do we consider? The x value of vertex. 
here the axis of symmetry must be the y value of vertex because here it's like this right that is the axis of symmetry whereas it's vertically oriented it will be the vertical line horizontal orientation horizontal line that's how simple and easy this question is please do go through them by yourselves and try to solve using calculator and if you have any doubts please post them in the comments